Finally tonight here, our Persons of the Week. We are in this together and we are committed to telling the stories of those who are on the front lines. Today in Arlington, Virginia, putting on protective gear before that long line of cars, families waiting to be tested. Brian Todd is looking into that for us. So Brian, what should our viewers know about testing? Well, Wolf, at a time like this, with all the information circulating, it's important not to overcomplicate the advice on testing. We went to a drive through testing site, spoke to officials there. Officials at Virginia Hospital Center, which runs this facility, say they're doing about 50 to 60 tests a day. Good morning. Do you have an appointment today? In short, they should have a physician's order. So they call their physician. The physician determines if there's a need. They get an order. Now, in just a few hours, there will be a new way to get tested for COVID-19 in Arlington County. The Virginia Hospital Center is opening a drive through testing site primarily for county residents. First, where this is happening, right by Washington Liberty High School here at 1429 North Quincy Street, at an office building here. Patients will remain in their vehicles for this testing here as Virginia Hospital staff go in and collect samples from patients. People will stay inside their cars with the windows up until hospital staff is ready to collect that sample. This sample collection site is a partnership between Arlington County and Virginia Hospital Center. For Michelle Katz, her joy is immeasurable with a child on the way in only days and his baby room ready to go. I'm also worried about are my friends going to expose me and my new baby to this virus. Dr. Amanda Roan is Michelle's OBGYN. We may not be able to predict right now what's going to happen, but we can talk about what's important to you. Virginia Hospital Center is among the first in the country to start using those rapid COVID-19 tests. The test kits from Abbott Labs can deliver test results in under 15 minutes. Teams at the Arlington site have now tested 1,000 people. Elise Yanker Hasney is a breast cancer survivor. When she was going through treatments at Virginia Hospital Center, Center, she decided to start helping other women going through the same thing, adding a little color to their lives. I started the business when I was going through cancer treatment. The colors just make you happy. As the coronavirus has spread in our region, Hasney once again wanted to help. So she donated her entire supply, 140 glam gowns, to Virginia Hospital Center, the place where her cancer journey began. Now that she owns a gown company in Arlington, she's donating 140 gowns to the Virginia Hospital Center. She decided to donate hundreds to the Virginia Hospital Center. Oliver Thomas Overman, born into a world his mother, Taryn, didn't expect. No coronavirus nine months ago. The now mom of three is a registered nurse at Virginia Hospital Center in Arlington. Dr. Rohit Modak says before anyone comes into the hospital, they're screened for coronavirus symptoms. So here's a look at what happened in Arlington, where people stepped outside to clap and bang pots and pans and shout out a big thank you to the staff at Virginia Hospital Center. And good morning, Washington's Kristen Powers is seeing another act of kindness today. She's live at the Virginia Hospital Center, where today's staff members will get free meals. When coronavirus hit about a month ago, we saw an opportunity to repurpose our vehicles to help the communities we serve, to help folks who, who needed it. The Virginia Hospital Center, which is one of the first in the nation to use this test. And joining us this morning, Dr. Jeff DeLisi. He's the senior VP and chief medical officer for VHC, and he's here to tell us all about it. Good morning. Thanks for having me. And as you said, we can get rapid results for patients uh, and get them the result whether they have COVID-19 or not. So we've been really focusing on uh, those patients being admitted to our uh, into our hospital as sort of the first line of, of patients to get that test rapidly. 